Hey everybody, it's Pro Trader Mike. I'm shorting JRJC entry right here, 719 to 20, filled short number one. I'm going to show you a great video on the signals and the sequences on shorting. I'm going to play this thing back down under seven. I'm going to short number two under 710 and number three back down around 703. And that's going to be the sequence on this one. Let me show you the sequence we did on the first one right here. I got a signal at 1457.24 to short JRJC at 665. I'm scaling into a short on the ask at 672 in a scaling sequence of 127. That's 1,000 shares, 2,000 shares, and 7,000 shares broken up into two parts. So boom, here's another look at the signal at 58. And then I'm filling. I got filled at 72 to 75 on 1,000. Now I'm going for 2,000 from 75 to 85. And I'm getting filled on the ask, shorting the stock right here. Okay? So sitting on the ask from 85 to 90, I'm shorting 2,000. From 90 to 7, I'm shorting. So right there, I have part one done I got the 1,000 to 2,000 now I got 7,000 gonna get 2,000 here leaves me another and a thousand there leaves me 4,000 to go so from 90 to 7 I'm doing 4,000 shares short 10,000 in a great scale average 692 so I started at 665 saw the signal was on the ask in a sequence 127 all the way up to seven dollars now I'm short 10,000 at 692 All of a sudden, this right here, the signal given in this box right here at 1503.51 is a NITSO or an NITBB. It is a signal. I teach it in Mojo University. Not that I'm going to disclose what it is, but it's an intentional institutional size order to drive the stock in one direction, and they successfully did that. It's going lower. It's dropping under 690, 678. There's a new signal to short given right here with the 49 and the 17 with the ones lined up so it's a full-blown sell signal it's going to get crushed we just have to wait for it wait for it and then you got with a NITSO and then you got an NITBB right there at 675 with the 513 it's going to go to that like a magnet it's at 675 blows through that 675 right down through 670 got whacked and now Mojo's cashing in right at 665 to 667 exactly the first mark where it was shorted right here at 665 and that's a scaling short sequence using scaling buying power and patience and reading the level two and if you know where the signals are you could successfully get that done. So I shorted it up at 720 and one more. Now I'm gonna short the rest of it down here under 705 and I'm gonna cover it under seven. So let's just wait right now, it's 1535.20. I'll put this on pause, we'll listen to some music and when I'm done, we'll take another profit. There's too much buying going on here. I'm covering the short right here, half of it, at 703, 704, because there's liquidity there from the 719, and I'll take that 10, 15 cents on the short, covering up half right now. 703 done. 702 done. Filled more at 703. Big size at seven, I'm gonna hold the rest for that right there, the 579, penetrate that. Give it one more second. That's an NITBB, I'm buying back right here, filled flat done at 703. Great trade from 718.19. And I expect it to go back up now. So Pro Trader Mike is done for the day. That's how you read the level two. 
If you have any questions on that, listen, go check out my website, mojodaytrading.com. I have a Mojo University, a class coming up. And look, How to Build Expertise by Peyton Manning, the new blog post I put up today. You should check that out. Mojo University is coming in 13 days, 20 students per class. There's the class schedule. Here's a course outline. Check it out on the website. Looking forward to possibly having you in my class after you come to the day trading room and you get to meet me. And that's Pro Trader Mike signing off.